We're in the middle of installing our HVA system in this building right here. <laughs> we're Martin and Julie, and we're seeking a life with more freedom and independence as we build our off-grid homestead from scratch here in North Idaho. We successfully got our furnace into the attic, which wasn't an easy job. Today, it looks like we're turning our house into the International Space Station with all the silver ductwork. I have never installed ductwork before in my entire life, but how hard can it really be? I don't know. Let's go find out. This is for the return air, the cold air in the house will get sucked through this giant 14 inch duct here and go up to the furnace, be heated, and then put back out through all the registers throughout the house. Now we're ready to start installing the ductwork. This is a piece of our six inch ductwork and it is an R8. And I have a feeling that opening this is gonna be like one of those snakes in a can that just like pops out at you. So we'll see. Whoa. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it keeps growing and growing. For our 14 inch return, it's a, a 90, you spin it around like this, and uh, you can turn it into a 90 degree piece. But we're gonna put it up here so that we don't run other ductwork in the way of where this big one needs to go. guy right here is a Y. It goes from eight inch down to two six inches for this side of the apartment. So what we need to do is we need to cut our ductwork, fit it onto here, attach another piece, and it'll go to this, this one right here. And then we can attach an eight inch from there all the way up to the furnace. We attach this inner part that's kind of like a like a throat, you know, like, what is that called? Their esophagus, maybe? I don't know. But it reminds me of a throat, like the throat of a deer. Get it started with that so it doesn't fall off. How fragile is this ductwork? Fragile? Yeah, like, can you, like, squish it and it'll come back into shape, or? It probably would, I bet, anyway. I mean, that's pretty... It's like spring steel in there. It's really hardened. So I cut a little piece off. When I cut a piece off later, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Okay. So now we un untuck that insulation that we tucked in there. Get it all out. There it goes. Kind of push that, pull it over. There we go. All right. Zip tie. There's a zip tie. Those are massive zip ties. Yeah. <sighs> Tight. There we go. Then just snip it off. All right, so that'll be like that. Then we'll use this piece we cut off connect to that one right down there. So this is an eight inch ductwork. So it's gonna to connect to that Y that we just installed up there. Safety Sal is causing too many problems. So she needs a time out. Uh oh, get in there. <laughs> We're not gonna let her out until she's not gonna Look at what we're doing wrong. So this is the piece of that wire I was talking about. I'll go ahead and see if we can't pull it out of there. That inner wire there. And it's like, it's pretty strong. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty springy. Huh. Kind of goes back into shape too. A little huh? bit, yeah. I mean, you can, I mean, you could crush it, but since it's in a circle, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to crush it really bad. Huh. Maybe if you stepped on it or something, you know, like stepped on the ductwork, 
crushed it down. You could probably crush it, but just normal use, it shouldn't have any problems. A long time it's taking me, but I figured out now to some degree. This life, it happens fast. I'll enjoy the time in this hourglass. Yes, I will, will. is in a very precarious position right now. Wow, Marty. Don't tell Safety Sally. <laughs> You're almost doing the splits. I know. <laughs> so we're working on that 14 inch right now and it is a beast. <laughs> These are the very large cable ties that we are using. They are 36 inches long. They're big. What's the hold up? I don't know. <laughs> Just joking. You're doing a good job. How much do you like working with insulation? Not much. Probably ought to have mask and goggles on. I can see like little flakes coming down. Yeah. Are your arms itchy? No, <laughs> I'm not really itchy for some reason. But if you did this for a living every day, you definitely want some protection. But once or twice in a lifetime, probably not too big of a deal. This duck that Marty is working on right now actually requires two of these big ties. <laughs> Cinching her in. <laughs> it's tight as uh, a human can get it. <laughs> if you think this place is starting to look like the International Space Station, how about you give our video a thumbs up? <laughs> oh, the last zip tie for all of the duck work. This is it, the last clip of a zip tie. Ah, done. Let me show you what we got here so far. We've got the two six inch ducts from the living room going to a wide to an eight inch duct up to the plenum. Over here in the kitchen, we've got the two six inch going to a wide going up to the plenum. This is our 14 inch return right here going up over to the suction side of the furnace. We've got a six inch here in this bedroom comes up to a Y and then another six inch going into the bathroom. And then one lone six incher coming over here to this bathroom, a bedroom. <laughs> we still have a little bit more to do to finish out the whole system, but I picked out this video right here for you to watch next. Go ahead and watch that. And I will see you over there in just a second. Bye,